most Python developers have no idea how powerful the EtherTools module really is. In this video, you will master three hidden functions that can simplify your code and make you think why didn't I use this earlier. From my EtherTools module, I will import all the functions with this import star. First function that I want to show you is group by function. It's used to group some data based on some rule. If I have a data like this, data is a list of pairs. Every pair is represented with a tuple where first element is a number and it actually represents if the second element is a vegetable or a fruit. Number one represents fruits, number two represents vegetables, as you can see. If I want to group this data, it's important that I first sort it, because group by functions groups consecutively, which means it will tell, okay, this is one group, one, okay, this is another group, and this here is not, doesn't have the same value of the first pair as the first two numbers, I mean two elements from my list, so this is a second group. Then again, one, it's not the same as this two, so this is a third group, but no, I want this to be in the first group, which means first I need to sort this. To sort it, I will use the sort function, and in this, this sort function, I will provide a rule how I want this data sorted. And the rule is simple. I want to be sorted based on the first element of this tuple pair. So if I have element x, I want to be sorted on the first element. And now this data will be sorted. And if I use my group by function, which I have to use in this way, key and then group, you can name these variables however you want, group by the first element that you want to pass is the iterable, that data that you want to group, and the second is the rule. Again, the parameter name is key, and here the rule is the same as how I sort this data list. And now if I print key and group, you will see that I will have two groups. First group is group of vegetables, I mean fruits, and the second group is group of vegetables. But I forgot, group is actually a generator, so I have to convert it into a list. Now, as you can see, the first group has key one, which is the key for fruits, and there are only fruits. And two is the key for vegetables, and I have only vegetables. Next useful function that I want to show you is cycle function. If I have, for example, colors, red, green, and blue, and I want to go to cycle them, for example, go red, green, blue, again then red, gr red, green, blue, etc. based on some number, let's say if I have number 8, I want to have red, green, blue, red, green, blue, and I want it to add on green. In that case, I can write a for loop like this, for i, and then color, in, I have to zip these colors, and write here range. Let's say I want to go through this six times. Let's go seven times and then pass colors. This won't work because this here seven is out of range. It's much bigger than these colors. So the correct way is to use the cycle function, which will ensure if I go beyond the length of these colors list to get shifted properly. So if I go here, five, this will put me on green. You will see now when I print i and then color. We'll see, you will see how this cycling works. 
as you can see, zero is red, one is green, three is blue. Then again, when I go to fourth to third element, I don't have that, that's out of range. I come back here again. This is the same as if I would write module operator. And the final useful function that I want to show you is almost the same as cycle. It has a similar duty. It's called repeat. It actually helps you repeat some color or whatever element you want, how many times you want. For example, I want to have my colors to be a list that will have, I don't know, word red repeated, let's say, five times. Now I can go for I in colors, print I. And this will print me red five times. As you can see, red is printed five times. If you want to learn more about useful modules, watch my video on Fraction Module. It's a game changer for maths in Python. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next videos.